Good people, welcome to our show today. I am your host Liz. Na nimewaletea vitu smart leo. As you can see, leo mimi si team natural. Watu wa team natural, bye. Niko na makeup. Hmm. You see? You see? You see my people? Niko na makeup. Mtawaambia nani amenitengeneza. <laughs> shortly, shortly, shortly. Now, I have an amazing guest with me. Uh, and I will allow him to introduce himself. Alafu tuendele. Karibu sana our guest. Yeah. P149. That's what's up. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Karibu sana. Mazeni mezea kuitwa hivyo alafu unaingia kwa stage. Alafu. <laughs> so ulikuwa unataka kwenda kuachilia. Wase mmepiga makelele. <laughs> <laughs> alafu na drop my bars. Karibu sana. Asante. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please introduce yourself yeah, yo. to our people. Yeah, my name is P149 <laughs> aka um ama anaitwa Aringo Charles aka mostly I'm known as P149. I'm a Christian rapper, spoken word artist. Um, I do a lot of things. I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, I'm doing a lot of things. But majorly, I'm a musician. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. P149. That is Sam's 149. Ah, page 149. <laughs> I'm a pastor 149. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam's, Sam's 149. 149. Inasema, 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 sing a new song unto the Lord in the presence of his congregation. Let Israel rejoice. Unajua, like, uh, Yanguni, it's more of, you know, Know, sing a new song a new song I write a lot of songs mm -hmm. like I'm a writer uh, in the presence of his congregation like God's people so my song mostly are directed to the believers to the body of Christ to Christians mm -hmm. you know most that's songs and situs are probably was saying believers and as a kaiva say me ah see at really um say which I need I offend but not fail name a call for the church Na, yeah, so that's why Psalms 149 are coming. Wow. Yeah. Niko hapo kwa umekuwa called for the church. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Good to hear that. Yeah. Kwa sababu, okay, even me from where I sit mm. as a parent, mm. it is very interesting. Na kuna mzazi hafrai mm. when you see your child yeah. aki grow in the ways of God. So pia mi nashukuru sana kama one of the parents mm. tukiona P149 aki yeah. grow. Kwa yeah. njia za God, sindiyo? My youth suko inje, si tunaona? Yeah. Tunaeza yeah. bado kuwa tu bado wa handsome, tukiwa yeah. ndani ya God. Si tu kingia kwa God, unakuwa mshamba. Eh? Unajua yeah. tu wengi wanafikiri yanga yes, hivu. Yes. Tukingia kwa God, eh, mm. sura inapotea, unaparara, ah, ni nini. nini. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, P149, yes. tuambia kidogo kukuhusu, mm. what do you do? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm a, I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God, I'm a son of God. And then I am a husband. To one wife, um, I have two children, a boy and a girl, and then also I, I, I do music, you know. And um, you've asked you've asked a question. Yes. Yes. What mm -hmm. do I do? Yes. What do you do? Yeah, I, I do a couple of things. I'm a makeup artist, professional. Been doing makeup for 13 years, you know. Um, uh, I do a, a bit of business here and there, and. Uh, yeah, that's what I do. And also I serve at Karura Community Chapel, Kiambu Road. I'm the youth pastor there. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah. Hey, unafanya vitu mzuri mzuri peke yake. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> eh, yeah. Apo kwa makeup artist for 13 years. Nime muambia last yeke ya 13 years, anyeke tu ya one day. Kwa za yeah, ya 13 years, mtanisa hau. Eh, eh, that's right. Eh, mneza confused. Liz, yeah. lawa meleta host mugani. Mwase. So, nime muambia nyeke tu ya one day. Ya yeah, one day. Alafu, tukisonga. Mm. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yes, <laughs> So, uh, makapo wa sana. Asante, yeah. Yeah. asante. Yeah. Alafu kuna hiyo ya um, spoken word. Yes. You do spoken word. That's right. So it is a way of reaching people kuhusu God ama what is the aim of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, uh, like, you know, as I said, um, I've also been doing music for a while now. And I love my the gift that God has given me and that is the gift of rap music, uh, spoken word, and that is mainly to know God and to make sure that God is known among my peers and also among the people, you know, the church. So, Mr. Jango could directly, um, kwa, you know, was say that God had to call. Na life moja just one life to give it all to Christ, you know. Mm. So my message is, you know, repent, believe in the gospel. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. Thank you. Alafu kuna, kuna song, 
kuna spoken word iko na song mm. umeirelease juzi juzi yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, i think the last few days yeah sure uh -huh. hiyo inaitwa holy violence exactly. one exactly hiyo hiyo kwa hivyo tu inakuja holy violence one ni mbaya maze hiyo tunaenda ku drop ukiona <laughs> one unajua kuna tu nyake kuna tu ni hebu tuonjeshe kidogo Yo. kidogo ah. kidogo kabla tuende pa, <laughs> pastor unadai oh god amekushow kama haja kushow from scripture basi bro si to show jisisi ya to die show sisi bereans tunajisomea anga wenyewe nimesikiza sana hizi cliche at i command open heaven i release the anointing mara instruct the holy spirit at i give the holy spirit permission buda kama nani ulifika levo gani ku instruct the holy trinity wewe ak bishop doctor reverend prophet apostle evangelist deacon prophetess of asia at hadi assistant of christ at message yako imetoka direct from god alafu ya bible toke direct from waishia usisimame kutubiria kaa chini tuchambue biblia Ala <laughs> Wewe eh, eh. nikuulize mm. PR49 yeah. how do you cram hizi vitu zote are you normal Yeah I I I practice maze ah. I, I I yeah it's it's a matter of giving it time Mbona mimi niki practice sishiki hivyo Maze the love for the art yani is amazing ati asha kazi yako si kupanga watu kwa viti hata uh -huh. weka chini ushikiliwe na neno kuna time church ilikuwa temple Christ alikuwa central Unajua? Uh -huh, uh -huh, so it's just uh -huh. uh, um, I'm, I love this. Yani I wish wow. you knew. Mazina There is that part yenye nilisikia ukisema mm. Asha kazi yake si kushikilia watu wakiombewa. Eh. Hey, <laughs> hey, asha kazi yako si kushikilia watu wakianguka uh -huh, uh -huh. ama kupanga wa, ama kupanga viti kwa church. Uh -huh. Pia wewe kaa chini ushikiliwe na neno. Uh -huh. Sikiza hey. wada. Mwaze. Unajua <laughs> maasha wow, wanaona kwamba wow, hey, kazi yao wanakuja tu. Unajua acha hata jiongi service kisha. Hata ukimuuliza by the way wame preach ni. Eh. Nami kwa busy maze kwa chat. So, hey, so, uh. Kazi yao si kusimama hapo ati anangojea nani ataanguka. Eh hey, pasi ana Ah wewe shia bana. Uh -huh. Tusikize hey. wote wada. Hey. Hey. Wow. Na upion 49. Yeah. Kwa hii journey yako ya Christianity, mm. spoken word mm. and the things that you do. Mm. Are there challenges especially kwa hiyo ya kichach yeah are there challenges kama kama kwa hiyo spoken word mm. eh, maybe sa zingine ushaingia umekaribishwa hey let's give up for p149 yeah 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 alafu mm. unafika hapo lines zinapotea oh yeah <laughs> mara mob almost all almost all the time alafu unafanya like. <laughs> yeah 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 so um <laughs> Yeah so what 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 normally happens mm -hmm. ama umekuja na una join ndio unaenda kupiga umepiga umepiga alafu mazee inafika mali wow mm -hmm. ina lost inazima so hapo lazima u, um, you know one it, we, i consider it prayerfully sana mm -hmm. before i come to the stage to do what i'm supposed to do mm -hmm. na konga na objective and what what I'm, i want the masses to get mm -hmm. so uh, at times when you come up on i'm lost so you have to have a plan b yeah, yeah, so what yeah. do i need to do here at times god will tell you even just to stop there uh -huh, you know uh -huh. at times either you stop or at times god wants to redirect another message that god ameleta ase kusikia hii message mm -hmm. so at times hata hiyo message may come nayo see god anataka ase asikie you know so god ataweza fanya god ata god akikutumia hata utasahau kuva socks you know yeah so mm. na kuna challenge yote maybe uh, kwa our the other artists unajua yeah. wengi labda ni wanaimba mm. wana preach mm. these are the common things that is done no just spoken word nitaisema si common because yes. ni watu wa few wanaweza yeah. yeah, yeah, wanaweza yeah. idu yes. so how what is the tech ya yeah, mm. watu wengine maybe ukikutana na hawa worshipers yeah, yeah, yeah. how do they take wow. yako wana feel kama pia yako ni message to the society ama kwa sababu nao how worshipa uanguke upige magoti oh, yako yeah. si, yeah, si, si probably uh, speak in uh, my holy ghost uh, uh, so nini uh, 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 um sijasema <laughs> ku speak in tongues <laughs> if i but yeah um eh yeah, wow, wow um like the, the 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 collaborations i'm going to do um which i trust god and i believe it's akuwa kubwa na wasani wa big in the next few weeks from now um wa, wa many approach wananiambia mazee nataka kufanya na, na nataka kufanya na hii na wewe mm huu -hmm. unaweza unaweza toa hii kitu you know and uh, i'm looking forward uh, i always look forward to do collabs with people like those mm -hmm. so eh hey, wao kinisikia na tumeito event moja and they usually wow because for me i come from Uh, unajua kuna unajua wasema nasema ngao nafanya spoken word but si spoken word mm -hmm. spoken word ni word that is spoken ni the gospel mm -hmm. as in si si poem si si ati oh nilitoka nilianguka kwa nini nikarudisha hiyo cheki mm -hmm. wacha kutupa mm -hmm. spoken word ni tupatie word 
that's why it's spoken word mm -hmm. so in a word in a kujana power and authority mm -hmm. so lazima iko heavy mm -hmm. see 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah get, i yeah. get munasikia vile p149 anasema spoken word ni the gospel hey see gospel ni the gospel the gospel the gospel yeah eh? yeah man <laughs> wow wow yeah um mm. when 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 you're doing the spoken word yeah. Have you ever gotten feedback ya kwamba eh kwa congregation maybe msee ametokea amesema eh maze hiyo word ulitoa leo mimi mm. kuna vile tu imeni imeni bless mm. imeni bless as in ume ume minister mm. unaona mm. ume 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 yeah. <laughs> ume minister kwa life yake sure. yeah yeah Jana mm -hmm. jana uh, jana it was a Sunday we in Easter leo ni Monday mm -hmm. Easter Monday mm -hmm. so yesterday nilikuwa nilikuwa church tatu Uh -huh. na nilikuwa na, na familia yangu wote so tuna 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 drive tu tukienda mm. hizi machache zote so nilianza na hapa good shepherd ya ngongro uh -huh. uh, nilikuwa na opportunity ya kuminister hapo mazee mimi nakwambia god ali move nilikuwa na do the crucifixion of jesus christ uh -huh. you know na tukipata time tutaifanya tutaifanya so, so crucifixion ya christ and naongelelea juu ya if kama dr johansen odor angekuwa hiyo uh, time ya Jesus Christ na Jehovah government pathologist mm -hmm. angekuwa na examine body ya Christ angesema ni nini ilikuwa course ya death ya Jesus so nilikuwa na examine mm -hmm. medical medical wise na easy stuff zote and naweza sema God ali use hiyo peace ku minister kwa wase wengi wenye alikuwa kwa hiyo congregation mm -hmm. nikatoka hapo nikaenda church yangu maze mm -hmm. mimi nakwambia pia sindo alikuwa anaenda ku preach partially alikuwa na break alikuwa analia mbele ya wase jana ma pastor wangu kimani mm -hmm. alikuwa na zile like aezi ji hold mm -hmm. as i did the spoken word unajua because mazili remind to mazili the suffering that christ ali endure for the sake of us mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so so for me um god and you and i believe god and you sana especially right now um ku, ku, ku glorify tu jina yake wow. nikatoka hapo nikaenda uh, church nyingine pia as in jana jana mazili ilikuwa Uh, ilikuwa miracle ilikuwa kama miracle mm -hmm. maze kuna tu vile god and he use na spoken word unajua mm -hmm. yeah, so i'm looking forward kwa god and ipatie grace ya kusimama kwa platform kubwa yeah. maze mm -hmm. na mimi nataka ku, ku, ku challenge hizi mm -hmm. media kubwa mm -hmm. maze wacheze gospel mm -hmm. wacheze gospel true mm -hmm. waache kucheza hizi entertainment Easy, easy, easy. Maze muna, muna, muna need gospel maze gospel iko huku bana mm -hmm. wase kuna na jo wase wenye wanaimba gospel true gospel wase tu si ati wanaimba jo wako na talent but pia life zao life zao zina portray ile kitu wanasimamia mm -hmm. unajua like maze wase wameji ah maze mm -hmm. yeah maze watu wangu maze eh p149 yeah. anapenda kusema maze <laughs> eh <Yeah. laughs> tu, tuambie p149 mm. uh, How do um, I feel? Kuna kafia fulani kana kam mm. wakati una prepare hizo line kama hii ya uh, inaitwa holy violence holy violence yeah I think una, una dare sana pia wewe yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kutoa message kama hiyo kwa yeah. sababu iko so iko so hard yeah yeah, yeah ni hard au uh, una feel sa zingine ka kitu kanakwambia mm. hey, fear watu watasemaje mm watu wataichukuaje mm, mm. ama we uko tu roju na itoa na itoa yeah yeah hiyo mm -hmm. uh, hizo ni vitu nime face hata kwa family maze at times naimbanga vitu anasema ai uh, zi, you, you, uh, like lazima ungesema hivyo hata wife sasa zingine anakuanga skeptical maze uh, punguza yeah, lakini yeah. cheki <laughs> mimi niko na hii life pekee like hii ndio niko nayo na mimi najua truth mimi fia yangu inaweza kuwa ni hiyo kitu na bonga ni biblical mm -hmm. as in is it sound is it biblical if can biblical usiani mbia kitu uh -huh. like una, uh, unajua uh -huh. na maze si siko bana nasema hivi juu yeah. na angalia state ya church vile iko saa hii na ninasoma bible na una vitu mbili tofauti nikiangalia ile church the acts of the apostles the early church maze vile walikuwa na reverence for god na fear of god alafu naangalia hicho chetu zima sina siwezi jisaidia the only the only way na zaambia sasa ni ukweli mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and um um yeah na jonga me speak hard mm -hmm. uh, in fact wife yangu jana alikuwa ananiambia ati um ati um eh kaka kuna msetu speak truth maze hard explicit direct 
uh, juice. So, at a call, uh, musically, mm -hmm. for, my, for me, my music, it's not uh, proverbial. Like, see, si, si tumingeli, mm -hmm. si try ku... ku ku decorate. Ah, ah, <laughs> in a camivo. Eh, as in me, eh, in a camivo. Eh, so, eh, eh, eh. Eh. so, for me, it's so explicit, direct, mm -hmm. straight. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, okay, I, I, I think 149, that is the way to go. Yeah. Because uh, life is I. I think I could decorate it too. Sure. Vile tu kitu iko iko. Vile wana semanga kola sped a sped and not a big sp uh, exactly. a big spoon. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vile iko ndio uitoe. Yeah. Especially gospel. Yeah, eh? yeah. Gospel. The gospel. One, especially the gospel. Yeah. Ilete vile iko vile word inasema. Vile yeah, Bible yeah. inasema. Kama imesema hatu tufai kufanya hii. Mm. Tusiseme imesema tukifanya tusindin. Ah ah. Mm. Hatufai yeah, kufanya hii. Exactly. It is direct. Yeah. Serio? Mm. Wow. So, P149, what yes. motivates you in your journey? In this my journey. journey. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Journey of life. Journey of uh, spoken word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Uh, just to see um, changed lives, you know. Uh, just to see transformation. My motivation is Christ. That's my daily motivation. At times I struggle, maze. at times I fall. But Maze Christ ndio ananishikilia kunrudisha mali nafaa kukua you know so my motivation ni yeye na ni yeye peke yake maze sina motivation nyingine outside ya yeye you know you remove Christ out of outside me maze nakumaliza eh yeah, so hiyo ndio motivation yangu <laughs> wow yeah. wow uh, do you mentor people yeah. vijana kama watu wako interested na wana feel wako wanaweza piga hiyo spoken word yeah definitely uh -huh. Def i'm doing mentorship actually right now kuna wasemu andikia spoken word uh, kuna wase na wandikia spoken word na nawapatia tu anyweze ku you know kuna wase hata wanafanya spoken word zangu kuna time sale kuna perform US song yangu mm -hmm. you know so ni anika feel fit na anika ipata YouTube na anasema maze I'm doing a song by P149 wow. <laughs> na ako US maze <laughs> you know so um, yeah I do mentor people and mm -hmm. mina invite wase kama wana die uh, Eh, word mm. apo mentorship ya word maze mm. niko wapa mm -hmm. and uh, even the, the young people maze mm -hmm. Uh, the young people, who, the parents who are watching, wale kau kona msemiang and you you need someone mnyanya neta work now. Mm -hmm. Mazi I'm readily available. Niko na mimi sinaito cherish the Bible, uh, a Bible study group. We just meet together at uh, nafanya Bible study pamoja. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. To make your parents and uh, the young people when you go inje. Ata si lazima young. Ata si si old. To neza jikaza sa izi na tu spoken word of the buyer sana yeah, yeah. so if you're out there and you feel ukonako mm. uh, you have the desire to sure. do spoken word only to glorify our god Amen. p149 is here na anasema right. anaweza kukupiga support na mm. uenezi injili sure. pia kwa kwa spoken word that's right wow uh, so holy violence tu inashuka lean wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 um um, currently, seen that idea. Mm -hmm. uh, this was so inspired by the Spirit of God to do holy violence. One mm -hmm. and uh, two. Right now, I'm just working on a couple of other projects, but two will be coming. Wow. I, I'm not sure when. Uh, you know, I'm not sure when, but it will come. Wow. When it comes, it comes. Uh -huh. It will. Yes. It will definitely. Yes. 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 Wow. Tukuje hapo kwa makeup sasa. Yeah, yeah. Hey, manze, leo unafanya hata anashindwa mtu ana smile aje akiwa mm. na makeup akifanya. Si mnajua mimi unachorola. <laughs> <laughs> leo, yeah. eh, leo umenifanya nimekuwa ule mse. Hey, no. Now, mm. pia makeup ume ni kitu ni okay ni, ni something from you your from inside yourself yeah. ama ni kitu ulisomea mm. ama hiyo imetokea wapi tena. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so uh 209 ni mazai school 2829 nikaingia beauty school. Niko nataka kwa fashion designer but niko naacha ni ingia cosmetology nikafanya cosmetology diploma hapo Vera Beauty College ka Vera bado ni Vera mm. bado ni Vera mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah so nikamaliza mm -hmm. and then nikaanza kwa kwa salons nikawa kwa salon maze so niko nafanya kila kitu hea nywele makucha mm -hmm. nimesema hea na nywele eh yote hea ni nywele so makucha uh -huh. you know massage yeah, niko yeah. nafanya massage mbaya sana mm -hmm. waxing hizo vitu zote um, but nilikuwa tu na passion na makeup. Nikaanza kuona hey, makeup ni form. So nikaanza kuwa makeup artist. Mimi nili, nilikuwa uh, 209 mm -hmm. nilikuwa tulikuwa makeup artist machali watatu tu. Ma, 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 machali watatu. Mm -hmm. Steve na Mark na mimi. Mm -hmm. And hiyo time nilikuwa nafanya makeup wasel kwa na shanga like aya 
kuna boys anafanya eh, makeup. Eh. Wasa alikuwa anashtuka hiyo time. Kwa hivyo mimi ni mzaa yake hasa. Alafu so so nikaanza tu kupenda makeup. So I've been doing makeup for 13 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know uh, uh, 10 years nimekuwa in TV fanya makeup huko. Nikatoka ah. huko uh, last year, you know. Um, yeah, so nime, kitu, I've been doing it. Nimefanya maselebu wengi sana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So see makeup ya hii, makeup ya nyuma ya kate ni ya ya sijui pons na nini na poda na kukitambo. Mhm. Mimi wala sa kitambo. Si mimi si wa msewa YouTube. Ati nilo YouTube ni kazi. Mimi no. nilitrainiwa. Mimi ni professional, niko mm-hmm. na certificate. Wow. Na yeah yeah, mimi ni pro. Nimefanya hata kama sinachi. Ah. Yeah, sinachi makeup, nimefanya uh, wasanii wengi. Yeah. Akikuja hapa in, in, wow. hapo hey, hey. eh? yeah. how does it feel mm. chali kufanya makeup cuz i know uko nje mm. kuna machali wako na potential but mtu anaona hii ni job ya madam sijui hiyo siwezi fanya siwezi somea hiyo yeah. acha tu nikae ningoje neema ishuke goda anifungulie njia ya biashara mm. kazi ya ofisi ni vice tuna tai eh? kwa sababu kufanya makeup ni kazi mm. ya madam yeah azii mm. maze Yeah, kama kama uko na passion maze na tunahitaji do like we need money so if you can be able to use uh, what god has given you as a talent you know to make money then go for it you don't have to wait for at your offices do interview and stuff mm-hmm. no uh, we can be able to use what god has already given to us me makeup imenilisha imenilipa this school fees yangu ya theology wow eh nilikuwa naenda nafanya makeup na kuja nalipa fees niko naenda nafanya makeup na nalipa bills za zangu you know so makeup imeni 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 jenga so unaweza anza leo hata saa hii mm-hmm. but saa hii mm-hmm. wasiona paka nikishakupaka hivi jioni sitakao umetoa mm-hmm. so kesho bado nakuja hiyo do exactly eh uh-huh. so uh-huh. niko na do nyingine hapa kesho bado nimesikia <laughs> <laughs> ukisema theology yeah, yeah, so yeah. bado tena umefanya theology yeye yeah, yeah. theology <laughs> ame <laughs> eh eh wewe sawa hii ni pasi Eh, mi, eh, youth lakini pasta. Mi, eh, youth mm-hmm. pasta, lakini mimi ni msanii. Um, okay. Unajua kuna kuna hii kitu ya mm-hmm. wasa alikuwa na void ngi ati kusema ati eh ati, ati usijite msanii jua sanii siku hizi wameharibika na vitu. Wasanii siku hizi wa gospel si si watu wameokoka. Mm-hmm. Mimi nataka wasiwa jiwe kuna wasanii wa gospel wenye wako true. Yes. Na wana live for God. Yes. Wako true wanaimba gospel na wanaishi hiyo gospel. Una get? Okay. Like um because t- tumeharibiwa jina mazena wale wasio walikuwa huko bahati alibatisha gospel akajipata secular mm-hmm. wili pola alipenda do akawa irregular so wasio ananiambia eh p140 so ukisha make it mm-hmm. so utakuwa kama bahati mm-hmm. so utakuwa kama si, chiki ma, eh, nimefanya theology just to go back to your question i've done theology and it is meant to cement me solid gro- solid ground solid rock up with or down mm-hmm. niko humble niko na hiyo conversation na wife asubia ananiambia ati eh saa eh, vile uku, ile time uta, uta, usha make uh, um hautakuwa na kiburi <laughs> eh hautakuwa na kiburi uh, good question from your wife ah <laughs> <laughs> um, uh-huh. niko na wase around mimi when i'm accountable to on a daily yeah um i'm accountable to them mm. si si tembei peke yangu mm. Niko na wasio kiniambia ka chini mzee na kaa vibaya sana you know uh, niko na my pastor niko na a group of men mm-hmm. who are so accountable to me on tunafanya series inaitwa man enough mm-hmm. how how do how do you be, stop being a boy and become a man and you're a man enough because this is that yes i had tuna men sasa hii ni wasio hata yuko wana kulishwa na mabibi zao mm-hmm. si poa mm-hmm. wasio unafaku unafaku man up maze mm-hmm. kwa mwanaume mwanaume ni ku provide kwa responsible mm-hmm. mwanaume ni maze unafa eh, so na hiyo series ina nisaidia back to your question theology sasa hii nafanya um passing masters in theology mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um mana university uko us so I love the oh, so, so much. Oh. So much. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So P149, uh thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Na ningependa uambie my viewers. Yes. Any any last thing, mm. any last word yeah. that you feel mm. in as a impact, especially the young people. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Nitumie camera gani? This one. This one. <laughs> yes. All right. Um yeah, so come up to 149 just a message straight from my heart ni um as always kasi wasa unajua napenda na jamii napenda kusema hivi but i always say that because that's that's it we have only one life to live kwa hii world 
Hakuna ile siku tunapata mbili maze. Hii moja, live for Jesus maze. Time yako inakamu. When your time is coming and your name will be called. Na jina yako kisha itua. Maze, ume make peace na uyu king of, na uyu uh, the prince of peace. Kamu isha make peace na yeye maze. Hakuna kitu fiti kama iyo. Knowing that maze ata saai, kavi legari likami kachota wase pale migori maze. Una sitikia tu, huwa, imepita na yeye. Maze, make peace na Christ maze. Kau kona hii life maze, vijana na madame, wacha ni wambie. Easy drugs na alcohol, fornication, easy stuff zote maze. Hii zote zina come to pass na yu ni sin, living against God maze. Run back to Christ when you still have some time maze. Hii ndio message yangu maze. If you're getting, if, if kawa any parent you're there, na message ni, Sai you are getting more more and more older. Macho zako sai azioni vile zilikuwa zinaona kaa bado uko miango. Magoti zako sai zimeanza kuchapa. You know, sai you are wearing down your cells, your muscles are not multiplying. You're fading. Time yako inaisha maze. Cling to him maze. Cling to Christ. Mm. That's the message. Wow. Uh, so my people as I was saying, we all understand the season. Uh, he is risen. He is risen. I'll be inviting P149, who is going to give us a spoken word on crucifixion. Be blessed. Um, I want to take you back 2,000 years ago, where it all started. It all started after Yeshua and his disciples parted from the Passover Seder. Later we find him in the garden. A place located near the Mount of Olives called Gethsemane to get along with God in a peaceful vicinity. With intensity, he hit his knees and prayed to the Lord. He was for sure of the suffering that he will endure. While his disciples laid and slept, he prayed and sweat, started meeting with blood. From psychological stress, the vessels exploding seems kind of bogus. Many don't know that it's medically termed as him and it horses. A gradual effect, it made fraud and his flesh, it made his physique weak even before he was beat. Arrested and questioned, we find him in the synagogue, sequestered to central before the rabbinic law of the Sanhedrin, where the deeds stampede him in the speech, and the struggle with their faces had beaten. The jolting of his brain caused a minor concussion, which resulted in temporary loss of brain function. Others slapped him when they asked him, prophesy, who hit you? Bruising his already weakened skin tissue, they saw death penalty. The Pharisees were in no position to act on this decision. They needed wrong permission. Now the race is on. The second trial is taking long as he stood before quiet and silent. It's the break of dawn. He was a victim of crucifixion. The most horrendous Roman invention, the infliction of pain that the victim sustained, will explain using medical diction. Far from Michelangelo's depiction, he was brutally mad beyond recognition. His anatomy had to be scarred for redemption. This is the crucifixion description. From Pilate, they sent him to hell of jurisdiction. Then they sent him back to Pilate for the final conviction. To appease them, he had him beaten and flogged. From a medical perspective, tell us what was involved. Astonishing, unbelievable form of punishment. Its intent was meant to extract maximum suffering. They used a whip that consisted of nine leather thongs with metal balls that would tear into the man involved. With every lash given, it left his muscles and the veins exposed underneath hanging ribbons of flesh. With 39 strikes, they were not supposed to go over. Sometimes the deed, depending on the mood of the soldier, exposure from his shoulders to the back of his legs. Most victims at this point will start passing away. Needless to say, his blood pressure was starting to drop. His anatomy going through shock. His bodily going through shock. His anatomy going through shock. His bodily fluid is cutting through the cuts and contusions. His blood volume is reducing what becomes the solution. Hard to still believe that he's still believing. Critical was his condition way even before the nails were even driven. A bushel of thorns were found and formed into a crown which was placed upon his head, then shut down. The martel king of the Jews, they started to laugh. They gave him a staff, placed a rock made of wood on his back because he was a victim of crucifixion. The most horrendous Roman invention, the infliction of pain that the victim sustained will explain using medical diction. Far from Michael Angelo's depiction, he was brutally mad beyond recognition. His anatomy.
land of had to be scarred for redemption. This is the crucifixion description. Now Pilate gathered the masses and asked if they should kill Barabbas or Jesus of Nazareth. Allow the crowd all agrees. Said Barabbas the mother of free. Said Barabbas the mother of free. Said Barabbas the mother of free. Crucifixion was what Yeshua was soon to receive. Oh. He hold the cross bar for over a hundred yards. Fatigue and scar, destination, the place of the scar. The weight of the log is making him fall. So they see the man from Cyrene to make him take up the cross. The angry mob has poor built the beer from his jaw. Vision glass, which land the victim is starting to crawl. Reaching the end, his foot on his back, the soldiers have been pinned. Infection is setting into his skin. From this condition, his hands are laid in an outstretched position while spikes seven inches have been given where the priest is. He's then lifted, attached to the vertical beam, which is put on the ground permanently. No one in the language can explain his anguish. By his hands, his hand, his wrist hanging, his legs, and then placed together, one on top of the other. The third nail is not in, leaving him locked in. The weight of his body is dropping, making it impossible for him to live to get any oxygen. Unbelievable sight, see him hanging high. It was hard to recognize like Isaiah prophesied. Massive wounds to his back, a spear wound to his chest. He took his last breath and died due to cardiac arrest. Mazen, he was a victim of crucifixion. The most horrendous from an invention, the infliction of pain that the victim sustained will explain using medical diction. Far from Michael Angelus' depiction, he was brutally mad beyond recognition. His anatomy had to be scarred for redemption. This is. That has been our amazing guest, P149. Na tumesikia insights zenyako nazo, anasema ukweli, by the way. Uh, Saizi, the only way is the Bible. Kufuata to what God has said. It is so easy. Uta, ukifuata hiyo, you are sorted. Uh, my show today ilikuwa about talanta, eh? talent, nona, young people. Tuwacha kusema hakuna kazi, hakuna nini. You see P149 anafanya makeup. Hmm? Na ni sieti ni kijana ati mdogo ama utasema ni mbaba mze. He's a young man, akona family. Kila kitu inaendelea kawaida, despite him doing makeup. So, young people, I'm challenging you today. Tusiseme hakuna kazi. Tembea uko inje. Discover your talent. Work on it. Na hau utakosa rent, hau utakosa school fees, maisha itaendelea. So, as I always say, uh, if you have a story, if you have a testimony, journey in life that can impact a life positively. Nitafute, tupangane, we do something for the glory of God. Uh, for today, I have been your host and we have come to the end of the show today. God bless you.